This tutorial is going to show you how to reset and restore your iPod Nano. Now, the first thing you have to do is hold down the center button which I'm pointing to right here which is the select button and at the same time hold down the menu button. Now what's going to happen is after a few seconds by holding them down you're going to see the screen is going to power off and about a second later, two seconds later, the Apple icon is going to appear. Now what you do is when this happens you then take your finger, put it on the select button and then hold down the play pause button at the same time. Now when you do that keep on holding it down until you see on the screen it says on top disk mode and in the very center it's gonna show a check mark. So after you have this showing on your iPod you then connect your iPod to USB sync cable with the iPod Nano of course it's on the bottom the connection and then you connect the USB port to your computer from the other side of the sync cable and then you open up iTunes. Now usually when you connect the iPod iTunes opens automatically if you have it set up that way when you connected it to iTunes to set your iPod up or you just manually open iTunes. Manually just go to the start menu on your computer and you click on iTunes. If that's where you have it saved. If you have an icon on your desktop you can open it through there and there's my iPod. Right away it's going to appear the left side of the screen under devices. You can see right here it's the same iPod. It happens to be a fourth generation red iPod Nano. It's right here. Now what you do is you just click on that and what you do is you click on the restore button which I'm pointing to right here. Now it's going to ask you if you want to set it back to factory settings. I do want to warn you, everything you have on the iPod will be wiped clean and that's the point. The reason you're doing this is because you have a corruption, songs are skipping, they're not playing right, it freezes up, and that's the reason why we want to restore it. Now you have to understand, if you, all your music and your audiobooks and videos are saved on iTunes or on your computer itself, or both, or whatever, then basically it doesn't matter if you're deleting any of it because you could just sync it back but if it's on the iPod alone uh, you have to find a way to back up the data because it will be wiped clean so just click on restore Now once the iPod is restored to factory settings, a message will appear and say your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Please leave the iPod connected and make sure that when it's fully restored and it says that you eject the iPod properly. Don't just pull out the sync cable. There's going to be an eject button right next to the iPod over here. I already disconnected it. And you just click on that button over here next to the iPod icon there and if you look at your iPod, I'll say OK to disconnect, then you remove it, and there you go. Your iPod is restored to factory settings. This should fix any bugs, any skipping songs, any freezing, or any other problems. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, is all I ask. Feel free to leave comments, and thank you for tuning in.